Hey y'all, it's Pam with 44 Marketplace and Creative Finishes by Pam. And I'm here tonight to chit chat with you guys about how Dixie Belle paint can be so much more than paint. And I am so sorry, thought my phone was on silent, but it's not. Okay, um, a lot of people saw my 30 second demo this weekend where I used paint as stain and I've gotten so many questions about it. Hey Dixie Belle paint. So, what I decided to do is show you guys, um, you guys know it can be paint, um, it can be a wash, it can be a stain, it can be a glaze, it can be a wax, it can just be a paint. But I don't think everybody realizes um, how easy it is that it's all the same thing. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Dixie Belle's Coffee Bean, okay? Dixie Belle's Coffee Bean is one of my favorites. If you follow me at 44 Marketplace, you know the deal. Um, I use it on nearly everything. So tonight I'm going to show you all the ways that I use it because I've used it in a lot of videos, but tonight's video is not going to be a project. It's going to be showing you how you can use it for different things. So tonight the first one I'm going to do is um, we're going to use it as a stain. I showed it in my video this weekend um, and then after we use it as a stain, I'm going to show you how you can use our new hemp oil as a top coat for it, okay? I went ahead and prepped the board so we can use that. All right, so I've got all of my boards ready so we can get started. Hey, Alan, thank you guys for tuning in. If you get a chance, share it around. Um, all right, so typically what I do when I am uh, doing a stain, you can see this is just, all of these boards are just a uh, piece of board from a cabinet shop and um, they're all exactly the same. I mean, they're just something left over from building cabinets. So typically what I do is I dampen my board a little bit with my mister bottle and I kind of brush over it with my brush just to kind of get everything even. And now if this were the top of a piece of furniture, if it were sanded, I'd do exactly the same thing. I just wiped over it with water. All right, so what I do is this is Dixie Belle Coffee Bean. Um, I keep mine in FIFO bottles. There's my FIFO bottle. If you guys don't know what that is, it's first in, first out. And just like this, I just put it on. I just brush it on on my damp wood. Now, it doesn't have to be damp. It just makes it easier to move around. Um, so, if you want it, if you want to do it without it being damp, that's great. Just knock yourself out. And I put it on. And all I'm doing is brushing it over it like I was painting the wood, okay? If you were painting this piece of wood, you'd be doing exactly the same thing. Uh, this is a Dixie Belle small oval. And you guys can see, we're going to do this one first because we want to top coat it uh, with our hemp oil before we quit tonight. All right. So you're thinking, wow, that really doesn't look like a stain, Pam. It Looks like paint, which is what coffee bean is. It's a paint, yes? All right, the darker I want my stain to be, the longer I leave it on here. And then after it's been on as long as I want it to be, I wipe it back. You can wipe it back with a damp cloth. You can wipe it back with a t-shirt. You can wipe it back with pretty much whatever you want to do. I usually try to wipe with the grain. And there you go. Just like that, you have a stained board. You can see all of the beautiful grain in the wood and everything. Now, so that we can use our hemp oil later, I've actually done the other side because you can see it takes just a few minutes. And the plus about this is, if you're staining the top of your piece of wood with paint instead of stain, um, regular stain takes, you know, 12 hours to dry completely, uh, maybe 15. Gel stain can take up to 24 hours. This will be dry and you can top coat it in less than an hour. So if you have never used Dixie Belle and any of the paints, I've done it with Hurricane Gray, I've done it with Gravel Road, I've done it with the whites, uh, the fluff, the cotton, I've done it with all of them. So you can stain it that way. Now, if you have a board that you just want painted, great. You can see, I'm going to show you, my brush is not as damp as I need it to be. So, then all you have to do, I want to show you what great coverage it gives. If you are just painting it, if you just want to use Dixie Belle as a, uh, a paint, 
going to put a little bit more in our thing. And we're going to dampen our brush. Uh, if you just want to use it as a paint, it gives great coverage with a single coat. So this way you're going to get to see it as a paint and as a stain, side by side. The next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a wash with it, okay? Uh, I had several people ask me about doing a wash. And as you can see, my barn door is behind me. And my barn door is something that a friend and I did, Sandy. Um, we did this out in March. I did one door and Sandy and I did the other door. Sandy did most of it and then I did the other side. So you can see, it's not anything you have to be precise about. You can go with the wood, or with the grain of the wood, with, it doesn't matter. If, you're, if your board isn't smooth, I would take the time to sand it down a, a little. These boards were left over from building cabinets, so they're very nice and smooth. All right, so that quick, you can see, we have given our board a single coat of Dixie Belle coffee bean. So now we've used it as paint, and we've used it as stain. Next up is a wash. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw when I was creating my barn door, but a lot of people were like, oh my gee, what are you doing to that barn door? All right, this color is Dixie Belle's Pure Ocean. And what I'm gonna do is I want it to look more like this. I want it to be more distressed. So I'm gonna sand it just a little bit. And all I'm doing is kind of breaking down that paint a little bit because I want it to look old and not quite, you know, I want it to look kind of used and have light places and dark places. And if I had my surf prep sander, it would be a lot less trouble, wouldn't it? Those of you who were with me this weekend in New Jersey, I just got back. I got to spend the weekend with some friends of mine. And we had the best time at Rustic Retail in the Sussex County Fairgrounds in New Jersey. And several people that are coming to the tour in November came to visit us. We got lots of pictures. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell from where you are, but now I have light places and dark places on this, okay? So now what I do is I get my, my surface very damp. And I'm going to take my same brush that I've had coffee bean on, and I'm going to start putting it on here. And you want to keep your piece damp so that you're moving your paint around because what you're trying to do is dirty it up. Now, this does not have a clear coat over it. And if you follow me, you know normally I say before you put anything on your paint, you need to protect it. Well, in this case, I don't want to protect my paint because I'm trying to give it a different look. I want my paint not to look so fresh. Not to look freshly painted. I want it to look kind of like my barn door looks. I want it to have that aged look. All right, so now I have made my pure ocean, not pure ocean anymore. And usually what I do when I'm doing a wash, I use baby wipes. And they're nice and damp. And I think part of the skill is knowing how much to wipe and how to wipe it off. And I'm gonna wipe a lot down here so you can see. If you wipe too much off, like I did down here at the bottom, don't worry about it. Just go right back over it with your brush. Dirty it back up. And if that is too much dirty, then wipe it away, okay? So you're gonna wipe it just like this, and you kinda of wanna wipe it randomly. instead of having it in your face color, you actually have a wash over it, okay? That way, and like I say, you can always go back in and do a few little striations of the darker color. 
I mean, it's really easy to do, and it's it just adds more beauty to it. There you go, even after we've done it. Okay, so that is, we've used it as a paint, we've used it as a stain, and this way we've used it as a wash, just to kind of mute our color back a little bit. And you can see where the, it was sanded, how nice it really, I mean, it really gives it lots of, um, it just gives it a lot of personality and a lot of movement. So it's really a great thing to do. All right, so now we've used it as a wash. Next up, we're gonna use it as a glaze. Let me move all of my mess over. All right, so um, on this piece, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use it to enhance the look of this piece. For this, um, typically when I'm going to use it as a glaze or an accent, I use Dixie Belle's um, Satin Clear Coat. Dixie Belle's Satin Clear Coat makes the perfect base for a glaze. All I do is put just enough of the color in there to give me the color I want, and I use these little portion cups, and you just kind of stir it up a little. And you mix as much as you want in there, but the uh, Satin Clear Coat already has a polymer built into it. So there you go, just that quick, I have a custom glaze. And if I wanted it darker or lighter or whatever, it's very easy to do. I just mix a little bit more paint in there. And you saw it just took a little bit of paint. I offload my brush before I use it as a glaze. And then we're gonna highlight these edges, okay? And see, we're gonna just give it a little glaze. If you do kitchen cabinets, it's a great way to give your customers a custom glaze without breaking the bank because you've already got satin clear coat on hand, right? So why not take satin clear coat and mix it with whatever Dixie Belle color you want? And tonight, like I say, we're going to use coffee bean. And just like that, we have come up with a custom glaze. Okay, I'm gonna show you on part of this as well. This has a lot of detail. So when you make a custom glaze, if you put it across your piece, this piece has been clear coated and so has this piece because I want you to see what it looks like. We're gonna put a little bit more glaze in these crevices because I want you guys to see how great this works. And see, I've painted this with um, flea market decor paint and beech wood, is that right? Birchwood. Anyway, and actually this one was aged, aged ivory. I'm sorry, this was aged ivory. All right, so just that quick, I made a custom glaze that I used to accent my customer's furniture so that it matches her granite exactly. It accents her granite amazingly well, right? Are you guys doing what I always ask you to do, telling your friends about it? Okay. So now the other thing that we can do is we can use it as a dry brush product. There's my dry brush. Uh, all it takes is a little bit of the coffee bean and you, you offload most of it. If you guys know, I have all the big giant dogs, so I feed them all for help. All right, so now you've got something that is very plain and you wanna add to it. So you're gonna take your coffee bean and you're gonna go very lightly back and forth over it, okay? because we're gonna use it as an accent product, not a glaze, not anything else. And I'm gonna show you, it picks up all of the little imperfections in this board. And there you go. See how cute that is? It gives you just a little bit of an accent. So we've got our glaze at the bottom and we've got our accent at the top and we've got our glaze on here. Next up, we're going to use it as a wax. Did you guys know that coffee bean can be a wax? It absolutely can. This is Dixie Belle's Clear Wax, which is a water-based wax, and I need a custom wax for a job for a customer. So what do I do? I pull out my clear wax and I make one. So you just kind of have to press it in there, mix it up, because the thing about a lot of people ask what the difference in wax and glaze is. Wax has a longer open time. So if you clear coat your board or your project before you put your wax or your glaze on, glaze dries much faster than wax does so you don't have as much time to move it around. So here we go, I'm gonna get this done and you're gonna see 
This is going to be similar in color to our glaze, but it is a wax because we've mixed it all up. All right, so we've mixed it all up, and there's our wax. Now we have a custom color of wax. We're going to pull out our wax brush, and like I do with a glaze, I always offload my brush because I like to get it up in my bristles, but I also like to make sure that I've gotten it so that it, I can put as much or as little as I want. Okay, so here's our board again. We're gonna go, we're gonna wax this all up in here and get it all in these creases and crevices. And we want it up in there. Okay. Now this is all with coffee bean paint. You bought this coffee bean paint, you thought I'll only use it on this one project. Well, guess what? That is not correct. There's our wax on our piece. And now we're gonna wipe it back. And see, I could let this sit here for 10 minutes and still wipe it back. Whereas with the glaze, you wouldn't have that much open time. All right. Now this end right here is with the wax that we made, the custom made wax. So we've got custom made wax, custom made glaze, all with coffee bean paint. And you can see the wax really gets down in the creases and crevices. The wax is on this end, the glaze is on this end. And I'm gonna show you the wax on the center of this piece. So we're gonna put our wax on our piece right here. And I'm just using just a chip brush so that you can see because we just want a little accent on this piece that we've done for our customer. It's been clear coated. So we're just aging it a little bit. Now you could also use Dixie Dirt with this wax. And there you go. This right here is our wax that we've made. So we've made custom wax, custom glaze, we have used it as a stain, we've used it as a paint, and we've used it as a wash. All very easy peasy, right? Which is what Dixie Belle wants to be. Now, I'm gonna show you. This is the one that we did. See how pretty it is? Well, this is the one that I did earlier, and I am going to show you. We are going to use our, let me move all my mess. We are going to use our hemp oil that Dixie Belle just released. There's my little cloth. We're gonna use our hemp oil and we're gonna use it as a top coat and I want you to see how rich this stuff is. Now the Howdy Doody hemp oil does not need any refrigeration and it really richens your piece. If you haven't tried it, you would be amazed at how great it does. So I'm gonna show you the one half is gonna be Howdy Doody Hemp Oil, and one half is just going to be bare, and you're going to get to see. And especially for those of you who have a hard time top coating uh, dark colors, this Howdy Doody Hemp Oil is the answer. Let me tell you, it is amazeballs. You'll love it, love it, love it. All right, so let me get one more swipe on here. And if you've got um, a, a piece that you want part of it painted and part of it stained, it, <laughs> can't even talk tonight. Part of it painted and part of it stained. This is the great answer. Okay, so there you go. Look at the difference in those two. This is the hemp oil and this is no hemp oil. So not only can you stain it, which I did earlier today right here, but we did this one this evening. You can stain it and you can put a top coat on it all in just a few minutes. Um, probably within an hour, you could do that. So if you've got a piece that you're working on, especially if you're under a time crunch, Stain it with paint and use the hemp oil as your top coat, and boom, you are done very, very quickly. Okay, does anybody have questions? I'm sorry when I'm doing it by myself. I can't really, um, I can't really answer the questions, but I will go back and answer all of them tonight. And so there you go. So we used Dixie Bell's coffee bean. That's what we talked about. I got all the messages about. Here it is as a stain. Here it is as a stain with our hemp oil over it. Here it is as a single coat of paint over bare wood. Here it is as a wash over Dixie Belle's Pure Ocean. Here it is as a custom glaze, as a custom wax. And here it also is as a custom glaze, a custom wax, and an accent product. So, the next time you're looking for something, don't just think if I get hurricane gray or fluff or whatever color I'm getting, it may be more than just a paint. It may be a paint, a glaze, and anything else you want it to be. All right.
Thanks for tuning in tonight. And if you guys have questions, hit me up. I'm Pam at 44 Marketplace. And I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much.